Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're heading on a cruise, make your first stop the Dollar Tree. I made a stop at the Dollar Tree and stocked up on things to help me enjoy an upcoming cruise that I'm going on. I thought I would share with you the items that I chose and see if they might be things that you'd enjoy taking too. I've been on dozens of cruises. I love the cruising lifestyle and there are a few things that help make it smooth and enjoyable for me every time I go. The first thing I bought was a drawstring bag for going ashore. It's, it's very lightweight nylon, has an extra zipper pouch along with a very large pouch in the middle. It'll hold all kinds of things. I bought the black because it's nondescript. They had some beautiful colorful bags if you like, but when I go ashore I try to remain more anonymous than a cruise passenger. It just helps you avoid some of the troubles that can be ashore in some of the ports. I picked up some travel Kleenex, antibacterial wipes, some hand sanitizer that has a clip-on carabiner. So you could clip it onto any bag. I also picked up a sunglass case that has a clip on it because things like this are great for making your own first aid kits, keeping together a few essentials that you'd like along the way without having to have a gigantic purse. A great tip if you're going on a cruise is to get some kind of a lanyard. They'll give you a cruise card that you need to carry with you all the time. It'll have a hole punched in it. You can clip it on here, wear it around your neck. It allows you access often on the ship to purchase drinks and snacks aboard the ship. And it also is the key to your cabin. Look for little kits to help keep your cruise smooth. Bring along a sewing kit and a manicure kit. Trying to buy these things on a cruise can be extremely expensive and looking for them ashore is a waste of your valuable port time. Travel is a great time to get a new toothbrush and a little tube of toothpaste. You can pick those up inexpensively at Dollar Tree. Sometimes they'll have deck parties at night and glow sticks are a great way to help you enjoy it. Some cruises they hand them out but they may not have enough or as many as you choose. So pack some of these along if you're into the party spirit. To help find your way around in your cabin, get some battery operated candles. Bring along some flashlights for everyone in your family and also the batteries that go with them. Organize things in your cabin with removable hooks, they're like command strips, or lots of the walls are magnetic. You can get some magnetic clips and then hang things from these along your cabin walls. Bring a carabiner. You can clip some of your carry-ons and day packs and shopping bags together. I love these great big jumbo plastic clothespins. These are the perfect thing to attach your beach towel to your lounger and help keep it from blowing away. They're also great in an outside cabin to clip the curtains completely closed or more open depending on the amount of light that you want help keep things organized in your closet with some of the hanging organizers from Dollar Tree. They come in different colors. I just happen to like pink and they have that velvety soft flocked fabric. They have circles and hooks. You can see either one of them fits nicely. I actually decided I prefer this one because you have all the loops plus the hooks. You can hang sunglasses bathing suits, cover-ups, bags, sundresses, belts, sports bras, nighties, an evening bag, and scarves. You can hang the hooks and you can use just the loops and hook even more things through the loops. So this is the one that I think is especially handy. It has all kinds of things on it. You can see it's well made because it's been hanging here and everything is staying put and it's organized and I can easily flip through it, pull the whole thing out of the closet, flip through it, find what I want and set it back in. I like to bring extra hangers because there's never enough. I bring plastic ones, they're lightweight for packing. I leave all the hangers behind when I go home. When you're on the ship, make sure you read the daily newsletter Jot down ideas that you have, leave notes for people, and bring some highlighters. Highlight in the daily paper the activities that interest you. 
Bring a different color for everyone in your group and each person can highlight the things they are interested in in their own color. Then you'll know at a glance what you want to do that day and where the people you're traveling with might be. Outlets are notoriously missing in cruise ship cabins. Look for a power extension cord that allows you to plug in and recharge several things at once in a convenient way. These are items I like for organizing my jewelry. If you can't find an empty plastic bin, buy the hardware set, take out the contents, and use it for your earrings and jewelry. Then I also like to take suction cups and I'll stick them to the mirror. Then I can hang my necklaces and bracelets up right in front of me when I'm getting dressed, putting on my makeup, and then I know what I have and what I can choose from. It's also hanging in plain sight, so then you remember to pack it up carefully when you're leaving. Look for first aid supplies. Take along some band-aids, cortisone cream, triple antibiotic cream, eye drops, chapstick. Then look for the seven day pill reminder. Each section screws onto each other and you could fill it up with different over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, earrings, all kinds of little things you could put in one of these pill holders. Heading for a day ashore or just at the pool, stock up on some sunscreen. I found after sun aloe vera towelettes in case you get a sunburn. I found some deep woods off insect repellent towelettes. Lots of times when you travel to warm climates there are mosquitoes once you leave your ship. So having something like that available helps you enjoy your time ashore. Then if you're heading to the beach pack some baby powder. I would rather have a smaller container but this is the only one I found. When you get sand all over your feet sprinkle it with the baby powder because you can see right on it it says it absorbs excess moisture and helps keep skin dry. So what it does is it absorbs the moisture from the wet sand allows you to brush it all off of your feet and legs. Get a roll of non-slip shelf liner. You can cut a strip, put it in the medicine cabinet and when your ship is rocking and rolling all of the products that you place in the medicine cabinet will stay more secure. You can also put a piece of it at next to the bedside table. Then when you put your water, your glass, whatever next to the bed, the non-slip shelf liner keeps things in place from the rocking and motions of the ship. I found a nice big waterproof zipper pouch. Well the zipper wouldn't be waterproof but, mo but the fabric is and this is a nice way to put together all of your travel documents. You could keep your tickets, your travel documents, your passports, travel brochures. This is a great way to keep together all of your travel documents or even to put your wetsuit in on the way home. I found these jumbo 2.5 gallon Ziploc bags. These would be great for bringing wet laundry, seashells, things you've collected along the way. Stick a few of these in your suitcase. They don't weigh anything and they might come in extra handy for anything wet or dirty that you're going to be bringing home. If you're traveling into hurricane territory, bring a rain poncho. Something as simple as that can save the day if you get caught in a downpour. You might consider packing a few sandwich size bags. Put a few snacks in them if you have kids along. Seashells, little mementos. It's a great way to keep things together. They're a good size to fill up and then drop them right into your bag. You can buy shower caps at the Dollar Tree. I don't buy them. I pick them up when I travel and you can usually find them aboard the ship. This is a great way to wrap up your shoes and put them in your suitcase. You can easily see which pair of shoes you want and it keeps the dirt off everything else in your luggage. Then don't forget to pack the Dollar Tree bags. You can fold your dirty laundry, stick it right in the bag, stuff it into your suitcase as it becomes dirty. Your suitcases fit underneath the bed. It's simple to pull them out, stuff away your dirty clothes, things you're done wearing, and then it allows you to have more room to see the things that you still have and want to use and wear on your trip. Other supplies you might want to find, one of the over-the-door shoe organizers. You could hook it over the door to your closet, organize your things in there. Sometimes they'll fit over the bathroom door or you could hang it even over the shower rod. Something I always like to take along but I've never found at the Dollar Tree is an alarm clock. It's easy to lose complete track of time when you're on a ship. 
Some people also like to decorate their cabin door. That's something I never do. One time on a cruise, there was a young man who was uh, almost stalking my daughter, and so now I always make sure that I remove my name off of the little tag on the door just for my own security and protection. Cruises are a lot of fun. They're a great way to see new places and meet interesting people. You still need to exercise caution and be responsible for your own safety. Listen to any warnings that they give you about the ports you're going into and just like you would at home. Check who's at your door before you open it and don't invite strangers into your cabin. If you want to meet somebody, do it in one of the public areas. There are plenty of areas for you to gather with new friends and enjoy yourself. These are the favorite things that I like from Dollar Tree when I'm going on a cruise. Leave me a comment below about what your favorite things are, especially if it's something that's not on this list. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.